Many situations can elevate blood volume and pressure. In response to rising blood pressure, Atrial cells in the heart will stretch, stimulating the secretion of atrial natriuretic peptide. ANP targets muscle cells in blood vessels and causes them to relax. This results in vasodilation and the lowering of blood pressure. Atrial natriuretic peptide also targets cells of the proximal convoluted tubule in the nephron of kidneys. There, it inhibits the retention of sodium ions, which reduces the retention of water. Less water returning to the blood causes blood pressure to return to normal. High levels of angiotensin II result from low blood pressure or low levels of sodium ions or high potassium ion blood concentration. These high levels stimulate the production of aldosterone from the zona glomulorosa cells of the adrenal cortex. Aldosterone binds to the principal cells of the collecting ducts of the nephron where it promotes increased sodium, chlorine, and hydrogen carbonate reabsorption from urine, increased water retention and reabsorption back into the bloodstream, and increased potassium and hydrogen secretion. The conservation of sodium, chlorine, and hydrogen carbonate ions, as well as water, and the elimination of excessive potassium and hydrogen ions results in an increase in blood volume and pressure.